Bars open. Welcome back to Wonder Beer Wonder. I'm Scott. I don't know really. Don't know. Well, that's Wonder Beer Wonder. We're all recovering from things and bugs and colds and. Don't know, really. It's been horrible since Christmas. Everyone's been bloody ill. I've yeah. been ill twice, and it's just grinds you down, doesn't it? So, um, happy new year. New year. <laughs> happy new fucking year. Mm. Um, but to pick us back up, Wanda, yeah. we had a couple of beers that were didn't grab us. Right. I think. Okay. I think they were sort of lacklustre beers. I think they showed in our reviews ever so slightly. Mm. Um, <coughs> so. I missed the Santa one. <laughs> but um, I, I think I've rectified that. So this week on the channel, mm. we've got, I don't generally like doing it, okay. um, but we've got two beers mm. from the same brewery. So one today, yeah. being Sunday, one coming Thursday yeah. from the same brewery. It's our local brewery. We like that brewery. We're gonna we keep, like going there. It's a nice atmosphere, we're, isn't there? Yeah, we're going to keep championing this brewery because mm. it's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so I picked a couple of beers up for a couple of people that I owed some that we owed some beers to uh, yesterday. Um, we enjoyed a. I had a pint in total. Two pop. half pints of Cocodocus. Two pints. And, you had a, and two I had pint. two pints of Cocodocus. Yeah. Um, we enjoyed them. It's actually. <coughs> we've been ill. and not been able to enjoy a drink at all. It's actually the first time that I've um I've, I've actually wanted and enjoyed a drink. Yeah. Since well before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um. So it was much much um much enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Um. Slightly just before Christmas. Um. Staggeringly good is a uh, is a brewery on out out of Portsmouth down by Fratton Park. Um, they released two new beers. Yeah. One of them's uh, this one, yeah. uh, uh, which is um, the Prize Fighter of Hell Creek. It's a cool can, isn't it? It is. Um, and the other one they've released, which is coming on Thursday, yeah. which is their um, West Coast IPA. Now, I've gone through our channel yeah. and I can't believe, <coughs> actually, we haven't done a West Coast IPA on the channel. Are we not? No. So okay. we'll, we'll rectify well, that. This is the first step, So we'll rectify it? that for Thursday. Mm -hmm. For today's beer, Wanda, we yeah. have the prize fighter of Hell Creek. It's cold out here. It is cold out here. Wanda, look at the camera. Over on the cold Wanda. Room. And this one, Wanda. We're going to be ill. Is a champagne and aronia berry saison. Sounds lethal, doesn't it? And it's coming in at an almost sessionable, Wanda. Sounds well scary. I think it's 8.4%. Jesus Christ. 8.4%. Is this a good idea? So, bearing in mind, I haven't drank a great deal. This could be a struggle. Is um, this a good idea or not? So On a Sunday afternoon. So champagne, I'm expecting to be quite dry. Easy like a Sunday afternoon. So a Saison, they're generally yeah. funky. Um, quite dry. Um, I like the funky. Funky. <laughs> funky monkey. Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm quite carbonated. I've no idea what I'm not going to sit and bullshit. I've no idea what an aronia berry is. We it's, tried to find uh, out. I had a bit of a close. Google of it. <laughs> All I can find out is it's an American thing called a choke berry that's a new superfood thing. Oh, so, apart from that, me. going in quite blind. Not a massive fan of champagne, no. if I'm honest. So, but Let's I, do it. we almost had a taster of this last night, but we decided we to hang it off, off didn't we? hang it off because we bought a can. It's a 440 mil can mm -hmm. and it's, I think, six pounds. Okay. So do it. it's, it's on the higher it. end. Let's crack it open. Crack it open. I've seen what it looks like. It looks spectacular. It looks red. It does look red. It does. So in the, in the glass. It's fruity. Are you excited about this one? It's the first time I've been excited about a beer for a little bit because yeah, obviously I haven't been very well. Yeah. It's another one of the ones from um, from Saga Really Good. Love the can wraps. All about dinosaurs. All it says on here is water um, ingredients are water, barley, aronia berries, hops yeast, which is champagne and saison, um, and it's vegan friendly, which mm. is really important because it's veganuary. You're being sarcastic now, aren't you? No. Right, so in the glass, so there's a little bit of chill on it. I can smell it from here. I can it's actually smell the champagne, actually. Absolutely, it's, it's hazy as hell, yeah. red as you like, mm. lovely sort of one finger. Lovely jubbly. Fairly compact. Lovely jubbly bubbles. Pinkish. Pinkish. Pink bubbles. Foamy head. So looks, 
Fantastic. Yeah, but you don't go for fruity beers. Don't like go for fruity beers. Um, don't like dry beers either. Do I've never got on with brute IPAs. They're too bloody dry for me. Not a lover of champagne. This could be interesting. <coughs> 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 Try not to lose a lung while we're doing the video. So let's go in for a nose under. I can smell it from here. Anyway. You can smell the under um, champagne yeast. Okay. Smells really fruity. Yeah. Obviously, I've no idea what an aronia berry is. It's, it's, well, it looks like I don't really know really a berry. It smells champagne. -y. It smells mm. funky, which is what I'd expect the under saison to 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 smell like. It smells really really nice. So SAS under Swell and Smith. <coughs> Cough, blimey. There's loads of fruit in there. There's loads of fruit like in there. Like berries. Mm. You can smell the berries. That's yeah. champagne in there. It smells quite tart. What's that mean? Um, puckerily, like... Well, you know, like, um, if you were to eat, like, um, a jam tart, say... So... I don't do that if I have a jam. <laughs> <laughs> what I do, if it's <coughs> sour, makes my eye wink. Have you ever had the sour sweetie that makes you go... <laughs> That's all. Not good. You get the you get the um the champagne yeast, sort of the the champagne smell out of that. Champagne yeah. That. So it smells it smells really interesting. I like, I'm all up for an interesting beer. Is it like IBUs? The, the thing about um um all of the stuff that comes from Staggeringly Good, they put the bare minimum of what's in their drinks. So water, um, malted barley, hops, and yeast. Okay. Right, you're gonna drink it up. So let's go. Let's go and have a let's have a let's have a taste. Cheers everybody. Yeah, eight point four percent. Hell creep. You're no. getting the berries even in the aroma as you're going in for it. <laughs> Are you okay there? Hugely carbonated. Yeah. Which it was like, I'd expect like it to be. Yeah, fizzy. Um, <coughs> you are getting, it is very, very dry. Yeah. It sort of swirls around your mouth and then just disappears. Okay. Is it bitter from the berries? You are getting the champagne, mm. you're getting the champagne yeast. It's, it is very prominent in it. And you are getting a huge hit of the sweet, quite, um, use the word again, tart berries. So they are sort of, um, it's, I don't like sweet beers. I wouldn't call that necessarily sweet. Mm. It's at, it's really, really nice. Is it sour? <coughs> I'd say it's just this side of sour. I don't think it's one of the, you know, like you say about a sweet. Yeah. It's not like that. It's, um, it's really refreshing. Do you like it? Hang on a minute. I was, the other thing that I was going to uh, mention is the ABV. Obviously, it's 8.4%. Yeah. Do you remember our discussion last night? <laughs> yes, I do. 8.4%, um, mm. nowhere. Absolutely nowhere to be found in it. Okay, shall I go now? It's lovely. <laughs> it is very strong. Can you taste the alcohol in it? No, I'm not getting the. I'm not saying it's strong in alcohol. Obviously, it is strong in alcohol. It was 8.4 percent. What it is is it's strong in the flavours and the fruit. There's a massive fruit hit in that. <coughs> it is quite bitter, Scott. I didn't think it was. Yeah, it's, it's like got sourness in that. I remember, I wink. There's. It's really fruity. The fruit's the prominent. Uh, it's it's um, a toss-up between what, what's what's the most prominent part, which is the aronia berry. I don't know if it's a champagne. It's it's almost like it's like almost like blackberry. It's like a blackberry yeah, taste like to it. Yeah, sourness to it. Yeah, um, which is mixed with the champagne um, I yeast. I have to have another guy because I don't really know what to think of it. It was quite bitter. There was, there, Maybe, uh, no, be, not bitter. It's to sour. be fair, they were selling a fair because it was on tap last night. Yeah. There was a fair few people drinking Trying it. it. I personally, obviously, I'm. I don't know. I like it. It's a bit sour for me. I think. I didn't like the um. Obviously, 
that's not true. I think it's because I like the cake of dope as well. It's really smooth and chocolatey and nice and yummy. Mel feels is 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 decent. I'm eight point four. I agree with you. Drinking one of those right about now. We have two in there, but unfortunately I they promised other saved. people. Mm -hmm. um, I don't dislike it. I think it's, it's um, I wouldn't I say. Think I'd give it the cake of dope. I want hundred percent on. No, mm -hmm. I really like it. Now mm. it's like the next best thing to the Santa one. The problem problem with these beer beer reviews is, and I've, I've said this a couple of times, is you sit down, you make sometimes you make an instant sort of yeah that's all right. No, I'm not. I'm not over keen on that. Obviously, I'll go in and finish most of them. I don't finish all of them because there's some of them I don't like. Mm -hmm. um, but I change. Sometimes I've changed my mind as I've sat drinking some of the beers in there that I haven't liked as much as in here as I've gone through the rest of the taste. Um, it, it, when you make it such a, a, a short some snap parts judgment, some drinks settle to the bottom and stuff sometimes. If it's can conditioned, then you level the yeast and bits and pieces in the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, I'm expecting. There might be some in the in the west coast, mm -hmm. so we'll see. If it's if it's can conditioned, then there is there will be yeast in the bottom, and mm -hmm. you'll get the floaty bits. You can't taste I can't alcohol, see any in there. Um, the the eight point four percent. I'm not getting any of that. You got a burny bit at the back though. My the back of my tongue is burning a little bit. I don't know if it's from the champagne part or what. Or it too sour for me, maybe. I think it's probably this, uh, the 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 um, the funkiness at the end that's that's okay. you, that you're struggling with. Um, yeah. it's Is it not going to go on your board? No. Um, well, they have to go on the board. There's only one on there. Mm. Um, is it the best beer that I've had from them? No. No, because you've enjoyed other ones. You like your, but um, it's another fantastically made beer. It's it is really nice, um, and I will happily sit and polish it off. Mm. Um, so thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle, mm. Onda. I think I might have to have a go at it a few times, in the middle at the minute. Okay. It um, might go like that. I was a bit like it with Coca Dokus a little bit though, weren't I? Mm. For and me, now I'm quite happy to sit there and have. A for me, it's 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 a it's a, it's a well-made beer. It's, it's another <laughs> lovely pre presentation of a beer and and of a saison. It's really nice. Um, for me, it's a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I think because I like the Coca Dokus better because well, it's chocolatey. Yeah, absolutely. For me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, another one. Another, uh, they're they're available online. It's um, staggeringlygoodbeer.com uh, or staggeringlygood.com. I can't remember which one. I put the link below. There's lots of people enjoying it last night. Absolutely, and, and more importantly for Staggeringly Good, um, their stuff's now being sold on Brewdog's website. Um, so have a look amazing. on Brewdog as well. Um, but they've got their own website, so go through them if you can. Yeah. It, obviously, all the money's going to go to them. Um, and look out for Thursday when we'll be looking at the, the Test and the Fences, which is their um, West Coast IPA. Um, so, yeah, really enjoyable. Something completely different from what they've usually done. Apart, I know they, they, they mix it up every now and then. Um, I like that. I know Wanda's a bit on the fence, but I think she might I mean, have a few might sips. Just have a few more tastes, Yeah, I think. but it's lovely. Um, so, yeah, find us on Instagram, Wanda Be A Wonder, Facebook, Wanda Be A Wonder. Um, new reviews Sunday and Thursday. If there's anything you want to see, then let us know. Comment down below. Hit the the thumbs up button or the thumbs down. It doesn't matter. Interactions all the same. Um, and we will see you next time. Wanda. Oh, bar is closed. Luke's and, dead. And, and he's dead. What the fuck are you doing? Bye-bye. <laughs>